or listen to most of our students, they would tell you that they are Christians first and members of their denomination second. And that's the right answer. But it's also important in our time to think seriously about and be articulate about the way in which our particular traditions are expressions of the Christian faith validly and make a particular gift to the larger Christian family. That's particularly important in an era in which the nature of meaning of the Anglican tradition in particular is controverted and a matter of, of conflict. So a conference where we back up and think about Anglicanism as a gift from Christ and a particular gift as a tradition is particularly valuable. It's not so much on our part an effort to change the subject away from the struggles of the church, but to remind people that Anglicanism is a, is a gift in Christ and that it's worth preserving. And I think roughly based in some ways on the success of the Alpha course, we thought it might be useful to have a similar sort of format where you had uh, speakers speak for 35 to 40 minutes uh, and then entertain questions. It's a collaborative effort between the Anchor Community Institute and Wycliffe College and St. Paul's Bloor Street, and, and um, we think that's a valuable sign as well. Archbishop Josiah Idua Farron is coming to Toronto, and his, his concern will be a more timely one, namely, what's it mean to be a Christian in a largely Muslim country? The church needs to be aware of the presence of Islam and Muslims. And to be able to understand Islam and Muslims from their own uh, viewpoint, not to project or in, uh, to impose uh, the Canadian understanding of Islam. George Sumner, the principal here at Wycliffe, is doing a talk on Charles Simeon, who was a, um, a, a very successful rector at, at uh, Holy Trinity Cambridge and how the parish is, can, can still be a, a kind of center for renewal at a time of trial when, when the larger communion is, is uh, facing into troubles. Jo Bailey Wells is speaking on the Old Testament. She was the chaplain at Clare College in Cambridge and is presently at Duke heading up the Anglican Studies program there. Tom Wright, the Bishop of Durham, and of course well known through his publications and his work and just his effervescent personality is here to, to pick up the New Testament side of that question. Uh, he's, he's, I think, going to be a bit challenged, he admitted, because in some ways uh, biblical scholarship likes to think of itself. In some ways it's sort of outside the orbit of denominations, uh, denominated Christianity, and I've asked him, we've asked him to speak on what does it mean to be an Anglican and to read the New Testament. In my tradition, we have this discipline of reading an Old Testament and a New Testament reading morning and evening. And I've often said to people that the point of doing that is not so much that you need to learn a little bit more of what Scripture is saying, though no doubt you do that too, but that as part of the act of worship, you look through this little window of this 10 verses of the Old Testament and this little window of this 11 verses of the New Testament, and through this little window you actually see the whole sweep of the narrative from Genesis to Revelation, creation to new creation, with of course Jesus at the focal point of it. The last talk is from Edith Humphrey, and it's on hymnody in the Anglican tradition. We think this is a very appropriate enterprise for us as an evangelical and Anglican uh, institution, and um, we hope it's the beginning of an ongoing collaboration and are excited about its prospect. Thank you.